What's up everyone? So in the last episode, we were able to create all the APIs. So that is an API to register a user, to log in a user, to find uh, a user, and also to, uh, to get all the users that are in our database. So in this episode, I want us to jump into our client. So this is where we will start on to work with uh, React and Context API. But to begin with, I want us to uh, configure our React router DOM in this particular episode so that we can have uh, the multi-page feeling in our application. So for example, we will be considering this as one route, which is the home route where we have all our chats. And then when we happen to log out, you can see now we have this login route. So we will be having a login route and also the register route. And then after that, we will work on our forms uh, using bootstrap in the next episode okay so let's just dive right in uh, so you can close all the tabs and then minimize everything here using this button so that we start afresh here on our client so you can also close all the terminals and open a new terminal and now we go into our client so i'll say cd client i hit enter and this is where we will be having our React app. I'll be making use of Vite to create uh, the React app. Uh, I recommend the same. Or you can also use Create React app. So this is the code that you need to run. You can just uh, search for Vite, okay? Vite.dev and see how you can spin a React app using NPM. You use this way, using Yarn, using PNPM. So I'll just copy this one. I'll copy that one. And paste it here so you can type it out npm create vite at latest so this means that it will use the latest version of uh, vite i hit enter uh, it gives us to choose a project name i will use a full stop to take uh, the name of the folder here which is the client so i'll hit enter and then now right here we have options uh, which is one of the other cool thing about vite we can create an app in view react uh, svelte and others so right here i'll use the bottom arrow to select react so i'll click on react another cool thing is that we can easily uh, spin up uh, a typescript application but in this case uh, we are just using javascript so if you want to use typescript again you can select typescript using the bottom arrow in this case i'll go with just javascript and now we already have a react app app right here so if you check at client there are these files which were auto generated you can check what you have at package.json we have react we have react dom so we have to run npm install in order to install these uh, dependencies and other dependencies for dev environment okay so right here just run npm install npm install i hit enter and this will install uh, the necessary dependencies uh, in order for us to run the application so I'll wait for that to complete. As it, it uh, loads, we can check what we have at the source folder here, SLC. And you'll see we have more files. At main.js, uh, this is the root of our application. This is why we have a React dom.create root and we have our app here. So this app is coming from app.js here. And we can check again what we have at app.js. Uh, and it's a simple uh, counter application here which is created by default by Vite. And then we have some CSS files, uh, which we can uh, delete some files and we will remain with others. Uh, but for now, let's check the other folders. We have assets. This is the React logo. Here you can include images. And also we have the public folder here, uh, which we don't have to touch at all. So uh, the first thing that uh, we will do is to clear up uh, some files, but let's uh, wait for this to finish so it completed uh, installing so what i want us to do is to first run the application and if you check package.json file uh, we use dev to run the application this is how you run this command here we say npm uh, run dev and it's also actually mentioned right here how you can run the app uh, let me scroll a bit uh, this is it npm run dev so this will run this uh, dev script so i'll hit enter and this will start our application 
So there we go. Now to open the app on the browser, we need to use this URL here. So I'll use control, then click on it to follow the link. And it will open on my default browser right here. And it's opening. And uh, white press react, there we go, it's loading. And here it is. Now what we have at app.js file or jsx file is this counter app where I can just click like that. So I want us to clean up everything so that we start uh, afresh uh, with our own files, okay? So in the src folder, we will go to uh, main.jsx here. And this is the beginning of our application. And in this file, we are making use of index.css file, this file here, to style everything. So uh, the first thing that I'll do is remove all the styles in this index.css file. So I'll click uh, Control A to highlight and remove. And then I'll save that file. And we will be using this index.css file to enter our custom CSS. Then we have app.jsx. And I don't want anything here. So uh, I will remove everything inside our return here. I will remove everything like that. And let me just include these uh, React fragments. And I'll say chat app. So that is the only thing that we should see on our application. So I will remove this state. So I will remove that. We remain with function app there. Then right here, I will remove the app.css file. I will remove the logo. I will remove the state here. So the only thing that we have in app.jsx is this, a pretty simple thing. And then we remove this file app.css. So I will delete it uh, completely. Then uh, we don't need to use this uh, React logo in here, so I will also remove it uh, from our assets. So the assets folder is empty. And we have now this uh, pretty simple setup going on. So let's check and see if our app is still working. And uh, let me go to this browser here. Now we only have chat app. We don't have anything else, okay? So we can now start adding our own stuff in our Vite React application. And what we will do, we will be making use of our React Router Dome to add our routes. So let's uh, go ahead and install a React uh, Router Dome. So in our terminal here, we just need to say, uh, I can't see where it begins. Okay, here is where we have our React app running. I don't want to touch that. So I'll open a new terminal here and then go inside the client so cd client and from here i can install a react router dom using npm i react hyphen router uh, hyphen dom i hit enter okay as this installs uh, we will have some uh, components or pages uh, which will, we will include the chat, where we will include our login and our registration forms. So let's go ahead and create those particular files. Inside the SRC, I'll create a new folder and I'll call it pages. So this is where we have like our page-like components. And then we'll also have another folder for components. So inside the SRC again, we will have another folder for components. Uh, just like that. Now inside the pages, let's create some files. Uh, we will have chat.jsx. Uh, so this is where we will be including the code for our chat. So that is the chats, the messages, and so on. This will be the root for it, okay? And then let's create another one here for login.jsx. So here we will be having our login component or our login form. And we will also be having a register.jsx. So register.jsx. And then let's uh, create these uh, specific components uh, right here. I'll be making use of an extension called React Snippets. So you can go to extensions here. So it's called Simple React Snippets. You can install. And let's create uh, a simple component here for chat. So I'll say SFC. This will create a simple uh, state trace functional component. 
I'll say chart, okay, chart, and right here it's return chart, okay. So I'll save that. We do the same for login and for registration, SFC, login, and right here I'll say login. Okay, I use the uh, React uh, fragments, login. I save, and also for register, SFC, register, and right here, register. Okay, cool. Now we have those uh, three pages. Those will be our main pages. And then other components that we might need, like the nav bar and so on, we will include them inside the components folder. Cool. Now uh, our React router DOM completed installing and if we check at package.json file, you can see the version that I am using. So if something doesn't work for you, you can make sure that you install the same same version right here, which is version 6. Cool. Now uh, I'll go ahead and jump into app.jsx file. This is where we will set up our routes. So let's import our various stuff from our React router DOM. And we will import routes. So let's say import uh, routes. And then we will have route. And then we will have navigate. And these will come from React Router DOM. Cool. Now inside here, inside our app, uh, we will wrap uh, our routes inside the this particular component. This is a component, this is a component, uh, even this one is a component. So we are importing these components from our React Router DOM, so we can make use of them like this. So right here, uh, we will wrap everything inside our routes. So let's say routes, like that. So let's go ahead and create one for chat here. So for this case, we'll now make use of this route. So we will say let route here and we'll pass some props here. The first prop is the path. So here the path will be the root. And then the other prop will be the element. And now right here we can specify the component that we want to load in this particular route. And I will call our chart component here. So I'll say chart. Uh, it's not suggested, so we should import it. So let's import chart from our pages folder. So I'll say import, we will have chart, and these will come from uh, dot stroke pages, and then our stroke chart. I save. So we'll have similar thing like this for login, for uh, register, and also for a page that does not exist. So let's go ahead for this one and we say register. So this will be the path for register. We will say stroke register. Then here we should have the register component. So right here I'll say uh, register. We should import it from here. Uh, so this will be from register. And we bring in pages stroke register okay again here we will have login and now right here we will bring in login so this is the component from the login uh, file so right here let's bring in login i'll use control d to select this and this then i'll say login the last one is for a page that does not exist so any other path does not exist so we use a star then uh, right here the element whatever we will load is that we will navigate to a particular path okay so uh, what i'll do i'll make use of the navigate component which we imported at the top and this navigate component uh, we close it like that we can also pass a prop to this navigate component so we will navigate to a certain path so we'll say two is equals we will navigate the home so whenever we enter uh, a path that, that does not exist 
we will be taken back to home here. Cool. We can go in main.js file here and import something else, another component from React Router DOM called the browser router. So we will import uh, the browser router here and we should wrap our app here inside the browser router component. So I'll set this up real quick and I save. Now let's see uh, what we have. So now when we go to login, we get login. When we go to home, uh, we get chat. Uh, when we go to register, uh, we get a uh, register here. So if we go to a route that does not exist, like uh, X, Y, Z, enter, we are taken back to home. Cool. So everything is cool. Now, the next uh, thing that we will do in the next episode is that we'll start working with uh, Bootstrap and React to create our forms in order we can be able to um, continue from there, log in a user and register a user and so on. So I'll see you in the next episode.